Hi, today we're going to do this one here. Um, it's my variegated rosemary. Um, this one's not the greatest sample because I kind of overdid it on the bright pink here, but um, it's you'll be able to see the roses on the one we're going to do today. Um, and it's I'm doing it with gel, so I'm just doing a bunch of different colors. It's one of my favorite techniques, actually. So we're going to do that here, and I'm using my big bling clear jelly stamper today too but for now we're going to be using easy flow true gel um, and that's what I'm going to be using in a bunch of different colors and at the end of the video I will show the colors and I'll also write it in the info section so for right now we're going to start with some pink um, this one's called baby doll and we're going to put some over here you don't want to put it on too thick otherwise you know it's, you're just gonna be wasting it and it'll just make a mess too so you can see what I'm doing I hope and anyway so we are gonna do I'm gonna do a little bit of um, this one's called glow crazy it's kind of a lime ish type of green We'll just put a little bit over there, and then we're going to do a little bit of this. And this one is called Nonsense, um, so we're going to put a little bit of that. And I need to probably, maybe I should put that somewhere a little different, because I think that's what made that big old, you know, pink blob in the last one. So now I'm going to use this this is a bright pink, pretty bright. It's called Rodeo Queen. I love these colors. And you can use any colors you want. You know, I just, these are like some of my favorite. So I just grab some of my favorite colors. Um, it's, it's really pretty fun. It's pretty easy. And it looks, it makes a great Manny too. Okay, so I'm going to put some of this in here. We have, let's see, we have some of that over there. And then... I'm going to put a little bit of this blue. So this green one I just put on is called Tantalizing Trapeze. It's one of my favorite greens. And then this one is blue, and it's electric blue. It's a little bit sheer-ish, but I'm going to put some of that along here. So if you can see what I'm doing right here. Put some here. Just kind of put it wherever you want. You know, um, I mean, if you want to, you could look at your design that you're going to do and you know, kind of follow that too if you wanted to, but this, it's kind of fun just to kind of do it random like this too, because then it's definitely always a surprise, you know, when you're, so I'm going to grab a little bit more of the light pink, it's called Baby Doll, and add a little bit more of that in here, and you want it, you know, you want it to come together. I would try not to overlap it because you don't want it to change the colors, right? So really, see how easy it is? I mean, you're just, you know, you're just dabbing a little here and there of whatever color you want to do. It's just, it's a lot of fun, I think, to do it this way. And you can really do it with any design, you know, that you're going to do or that you want. Okay, so this is what it, it looks like right now, but we are going to put it in the LED light. Um, and I tend to over, you know, do it more than it says you have to. Like I do it twice because, so we're going to do it once right now. Uh, just because you just, you know, it's probably a little bit thicker than you would put on if you were just polishing a color, you know, on your nails, one layer. So just to make sure it's set good, I do it twice uh, in my LED light. And so this is the approximately what we're going for here except hopefully not quite as big of a blob of pink in the middle this time um, but really fun one of my favorite ways you can do it with polish too um, you know if you, you, with regular polish uh, pretty much any kind that you like you could also do the same technique with that so one more time we're going to set it um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put 
a coat of this over it. It's, their, it's by Easy Flow as well, and it's their True Gel, and it's their clear coat. So I'm just going to, their top coat, clear top coat. So I'm going to do a coat of this over, um, just kind of, you know, to protect the colors and stuff so that when I go to remove the residue, it doesn't take any of the color off. I want it to stay bright and pretty. And then we're going to stamp over that, the roses. So as soon as this light is done, we're going to do that. Um, and we're going to we're going to stamp it with um, Bundle Monster. I'm um, going to use this one. And this one is called Mirror Mirror. I love it. It came in their Halloween collection. It's uh, it almost looks like a like a it's it's a metallic um, and it almost looks like a charcoal gray to softer black. So anyway, we're going to do the clear coat easy flow true gel clear coat top coat right now. I'm going to put this back on my base. And so we're just going to kind of, you know, just do a layer of that over it to protect it. Okay. And then we'll set it again. Make sure it's set good before we stamp it. And this is 30 seconds in an LED. Uh, but, you know, whatever... If you use gel polishes, then um, either the soak off gel polishes, then just look on them, you know, on their con the container, it will tell you. But I think most of them are pretty much 30 seconds. Uh, but of course, like I said, I'm setting it twice because of the technique, it's a little heavier. And so that'll be 60 seconds. And then if you had a UV light instead, you'd do it for two minutes. So nice that it's faster in the the LED though. Okay, as soon as this thing is done, there we go. We're going to take off the inhibition layer, so that sticky layer, so that we can stamp. And I just use alcohol. You don't have to use a polish remover or anything. And I wouldn't use acetone. And so I'm just going to go over it to take off the inhibition layer there. And then we're going to go ahead and stamp it using our clear jelly stamper, our bling. There we go. And I'm just going to use my lint roller and kind of just go over it, make sure it's clean enough. And um, get ready with our Bundle Monster. Now the plate I'm using is uh, Florality One. It's by Moira, and the image we're using is uh, this rose image right there. I love it. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorite rose images. And so we're going to do stamp that one. Okay. And so let's get that ready. And I'm using that Mirror Mirror by Bundle Monster. And I'm using Bendel Monster Scraper too. Okay. So, just do it like that. And give it a scrape. Okay, take off that dark black on the edge there. And just line it up there. And it looks great. Okay. Now, since this one is so big, it's a little bit short on the bottom. Uh, if you wanted to, you know, especially if you're if you have long, longer nails. Like sometimes I have to do this for some images. You know, then you can just add a little extra. Um, on the bottom of that. Okay, so that's what it looks like, you know, right now. I hope you can see that good. Um, without the top coat. And we're going to do the top coat 
Um, but first, since I stamped with a, you know, a, a dark color, even if I don't now, I just use Bundle Monsters. I love their um, smudge-free top coat. It's great. It's awesome. And it will not smudge. I mean, so far I've never had anything that has smudged using this. I like to let it dry just a second, you know, if, if you can. Maybe blow dry it just a little bit, make it quicker. And then go over it with some, just kind of float it over. You know, so that you, you know, don't make a drag or anything. But like I said, so far I've never had a problem. It's been awesome. Okay. So this is what it looks like with a top coat. I hope you can see that good. Let me see if I can make it any better. Can you see that? And um, now, if, at this point, if you wanted to, you could put a top of top coat of gel. You know the like I used earlier, this True Gels clear top coat. You can put a coat of that over this. You know, let this dry a minute, and then um, you know, or you could blow dry it to dry it a little bit, and then put a coat of that over it. I'm not going to, um, you know, because I just wanted to show you how to do this part, um, but. You also, at this point, if you wanted to, you could put a matte top coat too. Um, so either by the True Gel or Jalish has one that's matte, top it off, and that works great. Or, or if you're using regular polish, you know, just get a matte top coat, you know, through whatever your favorite brand is. So that's pretty much it. And I will show you, um, oh, that's right, I was going to show you the, sorry, show you the colors that I used. So I'll kind of put them in a row so you can get a look at them. Let's see, there you go. And I will list what the names are too in the little you know, information spot. And this is the, I love these colors. They're awesome. And then here's the top coat. And then I used the Bundle Monster Mirror Mirror. You could just use black, you know, if you don't want it to have any metallic in it. But it, I think it looks really pretty with that. And so that's our, and that's our image. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and um, watch out for the next new one. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>